What is today guys? Welcome back to the Let's Ride Garage. This is Alex. If you're new here, please subscribe, turn the notification bell on. And if you're back, welcome back. It's the holiday season. Happy holidays. And uh, yep, I think it's finally time that we actually put, let me show you, my dad's axum. Start putting my dad's axum together. So in this video, it's gonna be kind of quick. I'm just gonna take it off the box dismantle it because as you guys know i have a lot of parts for this bike that we're gonna be putting in and i was just waiting for my dad but he's too busy at work and he doesn't live nearby so he's gonna start the process right now getting this thing naked and go from there so without further ado again please subscribe stay tuned hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to support the channel you can check the affiliates in the description below and other than that Let's ride. Well, one thing I can say is that this Axum, so far, out of all the Axums that I have bought, sold, whatever, this is the one that came packaged the best. as expected. Brute force is going to be needed for this one. Loose, completely loose. All right, since this is not my first rodeo, I knew that the bottom brackets is usually, not always, but many times when you have the square taper bottom bracket, removing the drive side can be a really hassle. As you can see, the actual bottom bracket remover tool slips out. So I got this tool and this is from Pedro. Pedro's is a bottom bracket socket holder. And this actually screws in into the, um, the stud where the crank set bolts on this thing uh, screws into that and then you sandwich the bottom bracket tool within the spring and it'll keep it in place while you can turn it so i'm gonna try that otherwise i got the big guns i order an impact driver but i want to give it a try for this tool i'll leave an affiliate for this one i think this is gonna be a lifesaver in my tool collection here are the instructions so this is how it's gonna go and that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. And it'll hold the bottom bracket tool in place as it should. Let's go ahead and put it together and uh, make a little clip about that. All right, so that's how it goes at the end. All I gotta do is put my wrench over here. Unfortunately, I will not be able to use the socket, but it'll at least hold it steady so I can use my crescent wrench over here and tighten this as I go. Damn, this is tight. There you go. Man told you this tool was gonna be a lifesaver, and it is. I'll even feel it for this one and everything that I use in this video on the descriptions below. And as expected, dry. All right, so the frame is completely stripped. 
and all the parts that I took off and all the tools that I use are gonna be right here. So we have the handlebar, it already has the uh, brakes, controls, uh, shifter. Uh, I didn't remove any of that or the stem from the handlebar. I use, I'm gonna end up reusing these cables though. Is the fork with the cups, uh, bearings, spacers, derailleur, chain, kickstand, brake, and then the crank arms and the bottom bracket right here. And this is the Pedro's tool that I use for the bottom bracket. Otherwise, I was gonna end up using this impact wrench over here. I did not have any necessity of doing that. And let's go ahead and do an official weigh in of the frame, even though I done one before on a black accent before, so. But either way, I have this one completely stripped in, so why not do that as well? Four pounds, 66 ounces, 2.115 kilograms. Again, before I'm almost done with this video, but before I end up, please, if you haven't, if you here so far, if you're still here, please subscribe, turn the notifications bell on. I will leave affiliates over all these two, all these products in the description below. I also have affiliates with AliExpress now. It's super convenient, cheap. Sometimes it might take a while, but sometimes you might get them here like uh, over the next week or something like that. So check those out. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I hope that you like this video. If not, I hope that you learned something today. And if not, you still can give a thumbs up. That's a good and free way to help this channel grow. If you wanna support the channel in a different way, you can check the description below. You can also become a channel member. You can also um, buy me a cup of coffee if you're interested in doing so, or check the links. There's a few more ways that you can help this channel if you wanted to do that. You don't have to. All I ask for is a like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's free, doesn't cost you anything, and it does help the channel. That's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Let's ride.